You don't need to spend a lot of money on a counter pressure filler just to bottle beer without foaming and without introducing oxygen. You can build your own. Today we want to build one for pet bottles, but I do have solutions for glass bottles as well. But yes, let's kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So I bought some fancy, maybe not fancy, but transparent bottles, so you can see a little bit better. This is carbonated water with melon taste. Ooh, this is some dangerous stuff. You could ask a grown-up to help you with, with this, because this, this is a knife and you can really hurt yourself. You need a pet bottle, any size will, will do. If you, this is a half liter, but you can do one and a half, two liter if you want to. Pet bottles is the shit for bottling beer for beer mail. I highly recommend that you build one of these. I will link down below to that video. It costs maybe like 20 bucks and it takes like 20 seconds to, to build it. Okay, so that is filled with sanitizer. This is filled with beer. This is Shake and Brew Hoppy Lager. That video is already out. I will link to that video down below as well. And I know before you start typing some nasty comments, but yeah, you should really do that when you're watching my YouTube videos. Just think of one thing that irritates you, just one thing in the video and write really nasty comment just on that thing. Don't even watch to the end, just skip it now and write a nasty comment. I know these are for gas, but I already had this, but gas works on beer posts as well. And this takes oil. So you need a carbonation cap, a little bit, bit of hose. That's it. You also need carbonated beer, some sort of keg or fermenter. And you need gas, CO2. Gonna start with connecting this one, I will cut this to the length of the, the bottle. Ooh! Better to do little by little than to cut too much. In the end, I will probably still end up with have cut too much anyways. And you can cut it in an angle. Amazing, I did not cut it too much. Okay, so let's sanitize the the bottle and everything inside. Shh. I'm trying to record some epic content here. Don't even mention it. That should be sanitized. You don't need that much, of course. That means that we have run sanitizer through everything here, including the, the beer line. That's set to one bar. Why is that? Just over 10 PSI, I think. The idea is actually to have the same pressure here that we have here, but it's not critical. We can check how much pressure we have on this keg. It was a little bit under, so now we should be the same. Before we start filling the bottle, we should flush this with CO2. And here we have CO2. And I've shown you this before, but if you are new to my channel, don't like, poke your fingers in here. You will only hurt yourself. Bag clamp. It fits in here. And it has this perfect little lever here to push it. So easy. Now this is flushed with CO2. Probably not, because I did not flush this properly. This is why my channel sucks. So you should not subscribe to my channel because you will always see me doing stupid stuff. Let's flush this properly and then we will reflush this because this was 50-50 air to CO2 ratio. You pressurize it, open the bottle and just flush it like that. That should be good. Okay, so this should be flushed now and this is set to one bar and we have one bar here as well. Are you excited? 
Let's get bottling. Oof, why did I tighten it up so much? Cut that away. F me. And <laughs> start filling by just opening the bottle slightly. And beer will come. Beer is flowing. As you see. Minimal foaming, so like non foaming, because I did get some foam in the uh, tube here, but that's like nothing. Then we stop when we reach the top. And if I were to send this to Homebrewer, this would be fine. They can return it to me filled with some other beer. So you could just leave it like this. But if you want to give this away to someone you don't trust, you could of course change out the top. So let's, let's do that. Open it up. That leaves a little bit of headspace, but yeah, now we got some foam there, so that would probably be, be fine anyways. But if we had had some headspace, I would recommend that you would like, squeeze the bottle to push out the headspace. If I had glass bottles, I would do it this way. If I didn't want to use any equipment at all, I could just stick a hose in the cake grater and do it that way. And if you press any one of, of these, you might win a free beer. I'm not cheating you. Ah. Cheers. Dog turns out.